Very impressive. The second leg running, he's on a potential 11 data. And Hetter cannot leave a finish now. But Danny Nopper is bossing this one. He's oh, averaging over a ton. Ball. Damon's Danny hovering around the low 90s, which is where he's been over the course of the tournament. Ooh, two tops for Noppy. Good. That will do. Picture perfect from Danny Nopper. Dragging that first dart low, which makes it harder, as you can see there. Blocked his path to the treble 20. 49. Cover shot doesn't work. Danny He's left himself a really tricky 99. And Danny Noppert's eyes will have lit up. He lighting up the board here. Yes, he is, Danny Noppert! Starting a fire in Leverkusen in the final session. 1-6-4 checkout to make it 3-1. Things are looking up for the man from down under. Two 180s and a 171. They've all been produced by Hetu in the last two legs. Well, he should have had a 10 darts last time. He had to settle for 16. He could get an 11 data this time. He might have to settle for 12. Double 13. Yeah. He does settle for 12 on double 13. He's mounting a comeback now. Game four of his own. Not, not like that, he won't. Yeah, there are multiple darts from both players now going well wide and under the targets they're aiming for. Bit of tension in the arms. Maheta may only get a dart at the bullseye. He has taken out 81 in this match already. 12 segment. This time it is the ball. 81 both ways from Heta. Took it out on double 13 a couple of legs ago, takes it out on the bullseye here, and he's still alive in this game, the Australian. Lord for dear life at the minute. He's taken out 81 a couple of times. 84 is a very similar shot. One he might need to take out. What a set-up shot that is. Danny Nopper was stranded on 56 for the match in the last leg, didn't get a go. He's left himself on 32. Hetter, wise not to throw that in anger, he could still win this leg. Treble 17. Does not get it, and that one is tossed away in frustration. Danny Nopper, match darts to be the first man through to the semi-finals of the European Darts Open. Up for double eight. Game and Danny Nopper is through to the semi finals. It ultimately wasn't very pretty after making a very encouraging start. Danny Nopper, I think, looks to the heavens. In a fair old while for MVG standards since we've seen him world number one. It's been a while. But certainly when he's in this sort of mood, then. There's no reason why you can't push yourself back to number one in the world. 40. I know it's very early stages, but he's averaging 129.63 at this moment in time. Well, looking at some of the previous meetings between the two, I mean, Michael Van Gerwen averaged 110 against Price in the second week of the Premier League. That wasn't enough. Sometimes the standard of darts you produce has to be something out of the ordinary. Well, yeah, Darta for Van Gerwen. And he's playing yeah. with the steely eye focus that has seen him win so often on the European Tour. Swinton. But it is a busy life for them. It is a busy life. That that's goes 
right the, the way round to what I was just saying to you about they can pick and choose. Oh, no. Mike Leary won 92. Need to work on your throwing action, not in a follow through. <laughs> 52. Well, Gezi now Leary can Leary step up to the 20. board and make this match all square at two all if he hits this double 10. Yeah. Thank you very much. We sort of think to ourselves. There's nothing that these two don't know about each other on the hockey. Oh. I know we get greedy, but I really thought that was going in. I really thought that was going in. 57. Well, advantage, Gezi Price now. 181.40 against the throw, followed by a 127. Sat on a, a nice little score of 54 after nine darts. Michael can only watch and hope that he gets a shot at the 150. He's looking so good going 2-0 up. Yeah. And now he's trailing. Three legs on the spin Trailing from Gerwin Price. Region a smidge under 104 with a 50% checkout. Oh, yeah, going price almost deserves a, a real good go at this Euro Tour because he played so well in Peel last month. He averaged 109 against Dave Chisnell and ultimately lost. Michael Van Gerwen was knocked hey, out first him. time of asking by Stephen Bunting. Oh, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely Whoa. ridiculous from Gerwin Price. It's a, it's a mirror image of the leg beforehand, except he hit the 1-4-1 one, one there oh, instead of the 1-2-7. Oh, Thompson for a 10-dart leg. Yeah, it's as good as it's been in this tournament. Oh, fantastic. That's, that's the second time <laughs> MVG has done that. It's silly darts. I get 132. Another one. Yes! Good. Michael yeah. Van Gerwen, new magician! Oh Absolutely yeah. extraordinary. 39. Well, it's never good to score 39, but if there is an opportune moment to get it out of the system, that is it. 98. Can you require 88? Well, they'll be definitely looking for a treble 21st start here to get this match over and done with. Well, treble 15 tops. Tops, his favourite for the match. Composes himself. Gerwin Price gets another one over on Michael Van Gerwen, and it was another exhibition from the Welshman, an average of 106, a 10 data in the middle of it, quite simply a sensational performance, defying a full, full double 16 checkout from Michael Van Gerwen, whose problems against Price. I think I'd expect Ricardo to be doing over the course of this game. <laughs> oh, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Big opportunity. Billy needs to hit it. The groan from the crowd in Leverkusen tells you that their man Petretsko has made a mess of this leg. It should have been 2 0. It could yet be. Come on! No score. I was just he, about to say, Dan, that's the tough bit. Just hit 18. the big one. Bussy score. And Rob Cross. Yeah. This is a ridiculous leg of darts. 
Ricardo, you require three. Ridiculous leg of darts. Now, don't over adjust and hit the 20. That's happened before. Oh, he's in exactly the same sure. spot. Pokemon can't poke it into one. You require <laughs> six. Nice. Nice. Same problem for Rob Cross. That's how you hit a big one. Game and that's how you hit double leg. one. A ridiculous oh. leg of darts. And he's laughing. At he appears to have forgotten how to hit a double. He is one for 12. Oh, this is a tricky shot, but it's on. Couldn't get the treble 13. 127. Does leave himself very well Ricardo placed. By well, a bit of pressure on Ricardo here. He's not going to want to let Rob Cross take a 3 1 lead. And he's not going to take let Rob Cross take a 3 1 lead. Makes a difference for the atmosphere at Ali Pali sometimes, doesn't it? With yeah. the tables and the, the stands slagging each other off. <laughs> for four hours. There we go, all very friendly. Rob Cross leaves the 140. Petretzko needs to fill it up to leave a finish. He cannot do that. Cross is going to start on the 18s here. Always does. Because he's very good at it. He's so wow. good at it. For another big checkout this weekend. 140, Rob Cross, signature checkout from Voltage. What's the route? Downstairs. Gets it. Cannot get the treble 16 that would have left double 18. Booze around <laughs> Leverkusen for Rob Cross. It's a bit harsh. A bit harsh. Seven darts in. He was Spider Man's winging himself around with discontentment about that <laughs> shot at the treble 16 there. 57. Still needs to clean it up, Dan. Well, I know the German crowd were displeased with Rob Cross for not producing the nine data, but bursting into Du Hasti Harashen or You've Got Lovely Hair seems a bit of a harsh retort. Oh, you saw it catch the flight. You can see him symboling with his hand there. That might have been destined for the double 16, just clipped off the flight. Yeah. Well, we know he loves treble 19. And we also know he loves the ball. Well, does he love double five? Yeah. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Pikachu sticking in there. Can't leave a finish from 358. That's a wild one from Rob Cross. For a nice readjustment. No need to incorporate the bullseye in this one. Well, 114 to leave double eight, I suppose. He likes the treble 19s, but not the way I would go. I don't think Ricardo Petretzko is going to go the way you would go no. in a lot of situations. <laughs> to be fair, Dan. There's plenty of them players out there today that wouldn't go the way I go. Well, a little bit of pressure on this 72. Rob waiting on 97. Another one of the lows. We'll leave him double 18. Oh, double four, I should say. He's in the treble. We are going the distance. Rob Cross has not had a dart for the match. That is if he is to win it. One treble to get to a finish, two trebles to get to a decent one. If he could fill it up, there's all kinds of pressure. Last start's important. 41. Oh, no. Rory and Ricardo Petretzko, it might be coming to an end finally. He's going to rely on Rob Cross missing. Peter Wright certainly missed. Missed six times to beat him. Rob Eight. Cross does Shot. not. After such a ropey start, Rob Cross found some magnificent darts to finally end Ricardo Petretzko's run. But what a run it has been. Packed with drama.
with another one in there. 100. Would have applied pressure. He is on a finish, Josh Rock, but Dirk will not be too alarmed. Well, that was a terrible second dart. He might get away with it. He might not, though. Did he stay there? Yeah, I think he did try and stay there. Seventy. Erg required twenty-four. So for a break of throw, this not a great leg from Josh Rock. Eighty. But not great from Dirk van Dijvenbode either. Golden opportunity missed there. Josh Rock has had six visits to the board. He still may only get one at the ball. Well, it'll be two at double twelve. One at double six. Leg, 21 data good enough to keep these holds of throw we'll go going. To throw first. He's not happy with how he's playing, so he's switching things up. So that's quite a good plan. 130. Three eight's a good plan for Josh Rock from 305. It matters not. Three apiece. And that's a pelter of the leg from Dirk Van Dijven Bolder. Bit of a collector's item as well. Management sometimes because he does do things other players wouldn't, but he's always thinking about why he does things. And there, that's a gamble. He knows he could have gone to the bullseye. 25 would have left 170, but he thinks the marker is so good. I'm the best player in the world at grouping my dots. Why not? The gamble paid off. And he also looked at Josh Rock a couple of hundred points behind and thought, may as well take the, the risk. Oh! oh. One, three, five. Dirk van Dijven Bode. Treble 19, double 19 tops in the blink of an eye. Even on 210, still thinks 19s is the route to go. Oh, problems. Trouble 14 or ball. Oh, he gets the ball. That's a hard route. 54. Well, he got the dart at the outer ring that he was craving. He couldn't pin it. And Dirk van Dijvenbode. Single 17 for double top. And the over genius is in the semis. He beats Josh Rock for the first time in his career. And for just the second time, Dirk van Dijvenbode finds himself in a Euro Tour semi-final. We are down to four at the Osterman Arena. Bryce has just had everything ticking along perfectly here in Leverkusen at the Osterman Arena, where he eliminated Michael van Gerwen, so he's not going to make it four wins on the bounce here. Gonna get a new winner of this trophy. Yeah, someone's gonna walk home this evening. Not walk home, but they're gonna go home. Well, they might walk home, yeah, yeah. <laughs> given the transport <laughs> problems we've got. They're gonna be walking away with a, a very, very handy 30k. And it's an invaluable 30k if you are going price to get back into the top 16. Tops needed. Tops he gets. 120. He's at it again. Well, doesn't need to worry about a treble 19 for a bull. 87. Quite a bit in front here of Danny Noppet. Again, it's it's clear-headed thinking from Gerwin Price. 77. Gerwin, you require 40. On the fifth leg. 13 data, best leg of the match so Six far. Danny to throw first. I know we've, we've said it before. Fifty-seven. But you know what, Dan? This, this is what you have to play like. If you're going to win these events, this is the sort of form you've got to show. Sending out a marker to everybody else, saying this is the sort of form I'm in. If you want to come and beat me, this is what you've got to match, not just match, but overtake. 
404. And he require eight. And he leaves another single to double combo price. He's both management. There's no issues with that. Knoppert needs tops just to hold throw, just to keep himself in contention. And he does that well. Those Looks like Spider-Man's having a good time anyway. Yeah. Not Mark Webster. <laughs> 140. Unless it is him wearing the costume. Oh, that fella looks too trim to me, Webby. <laughs> yeah, Mark, you don't have a microphone. Sadly, you can't come back at Colin that. 434. Oh, we will somewhere along the line. Don't worry about that. Double five. 90. Danny requires 69. Well, this could be the Danny Noppert. First break of throw in the match. And even though he's been generally outplayed, he'll put him in touching distance once again. 49. Danny requires 5. It's a big moment, that. It is a big moment, yeah. Don't miss the big one. There's the one, double two. Let's take a 6 3 lead. Oof. No score. Oh. And you require 20. Straight up, double 10. Danny, Danny Noppet Noppet. does break back. To make it Danny to throw first. Game Because this has been a shocker of an 11th leg from Noppet. Seventy-two left. Eighty-five. Time is on his side. Yeah, he does just like to sweep up these little two darts, doesn't he? Going to require fifty-six. So to book his place in the final of the European Darts Open, Gerwin Price Gerwin takes Gerwin out fifty-six. It was another splendid performance. A little bit down on what we've seen. One two eight for Van Dyven Boda. Double twenty in ball. Well, I'm surprised he looked at the 18s there. It looked like his dart was sitting into the 18, so thought he might have gone for the ball. Well, after all the entertainment today, you know why the long face? Hey. Eh? Because it's a horse. Yeah? <laughs> Double 18. Brilliant stuff from Rob Cross. Well, no slow start this time around from Voltage. Breaks the throw with a ton plus checkout. That is. The answer this, but I can only speak on behalf of myself. When you throw two darts like that, he likes switching to the 19s anyway. Why not hit Trevor 19? Why not? I mean, you've hit more nine darters than Dirt Van Dyven Bodo has, I'll tell you that. Only on tour. Well, this for a ten dart leg for Dirt Van Dyven Bodo. Eleven will do. Magnificent stuff from Dirt to get his first hold of throw in this contest. He's just hopping about, Dirk. He's not looking 100% comfortable. 57, Robbie will 65. Halves his score to leave 57. And Rob Cross, because he strayed into the seven segment, well, he does get two darts at double. And this, for another break of throw, to take a real grip on this game. That's exactly what he's done. Rob Cross, back-to-back, -back, 14 dart legs. The question, if you want to get into the final... 16. You'd better go pop, 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 as Wayne Mardle would say. He wants to leave double 18. He does leave double 18 for a place in the final to face Gerwin Price. 
Match start missed Going by Rob Cross. It was looking like an impossible mission for Dirk van Dijvenboda when he was 6-2 down. But it is getting more possible by the moment. Lemberg, Dirk to throw first. Game on. Good stuff. Great darts here. 87 left after just nine darts. Saying to Rob Cross. If you want to win, you've got to push me aside. And at this moment in time, I'm an immovable object. Bullseye is not there. Robbie require 147. Now then, Rob. Will attempt to check out Dirk tried earlier on? Treble 18 for double 18. Tops, tops would be a bad idea in this situation. <laughs> Can't get the treble. And he would have fancied that. You know how he loves that 18 segment. Oh, why are you going to get one dart now then? Double four to stay in this contest. He missed the big number, but he made up for it. Dirk van Dijvenboda has won the last three legs on the spin, averaging just over a ton in that spell. And if he can... Surely Rob Cross will just be thinking to himself, just one treble. 98. He should get at least one more match dart. There's the max. It's half a dozen for Dirk van Dijvenboda. He is not backing down, but he's already survived one match dart. He may have to survive more here. Staying on the 18s. One at the ball. You don't get much closer. The crowd chant his name. Dirk will get one dart. Double 16. 38. Was that the chance for Dirk van Dijvenboda? Is it once again 25. not going to be his night on the European Tour? Thank you can you. hear who the crowd Thank wants you. to win. Rob Cross doesn't care. Cross doesn't hit either. Well, the stay in this match, double 16. And now he's favourite for the match. Yeah. This might be one of them. He might be turning the leg on his head again. That's exactly what's happened. It's a stupendous seven 180s for Dirk van Dijvenboda. He's hit one each of the last four legs. As the Obergenius comeback train 60. powers into the station. Oh, ridiculous. Ridiculous. He leaves double 16 for the match. He survived four darts for the match, but he's going to get three for his first Euro Tour final. 60. This should never have happened. It looked like it couldn't happen. It has happened. Dirk van Dijvenboda wins five legs on the spin and beats Rob Cross to reach his first Euro Tour final. 15. Double 18 then for Gezi Price. 17 on. Well, he's going to come back down because Dirk's left himself a bogey number of 189. But it looks like he's going to put some pressure oh, on that 36. Going to 36. And why not go for the 180 on 189? 
Not that it matters. Gerwin Price takes the first leg. Steady 16 darter. Game. Over cruising. 130. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. He's been so consistent and looking at the caliber of players that he's got past. MVG, the Euro Tour King, the current world number one, Michael Smith. Danny not but a hard man to beat, as is Christoph Ratajski. 25. Early chance for Dirk to break the throw. Well, he's not going to take this title home with finishing like that. Double 18. Good marker. Not only a good marker, Dan, but a break of throw. You're the genius. Well, the last start ensures he gets to a finish first. Oh, 89. Price leaves himself a more manageable checkout. Well, Dirk was to take this out, all the momentum will be with him. 46. Well, well that's a dodgy little shot. Is it a 17 for Tops? Tops his favourite. 68. Oh, that was only for a holder throw. Dirk Van Dijvenboot is coming back now for the 98 to apply even more pressure on Gezi Price. Double 13. 85. Seeing a bit more lateral thinking from Dirk. Price pins tops to make it 3-2 to reduce the deficit. Yeah, it was slightly unusual that from Dirk. That wasn't great either. And as quick as a flash. Going Price now the heavy favourite for this leg. Biggest finish so far has been 135. Can he add 14 to it? No, he can't. 39. Well, for a break back here for Gezi, double 12. This would please him immensely. One dart left at it. And we hear the roar there from the Iceman. The trademark Gezi bellow. Task for Gerwin Price. Hold your throw, and you will be lifting the trophy. Tops him for a 14 dart holder throw. Ooh. Four. They're going to go on 100. But one thing that he is doing, he is giving Van Dyven Boda chances. And he is going to get one dart. And he doesn't take it. And you require 20. So, so close. Doesn't want to keep giving him opportunities like that, then, because at some point or another, as he proved against Rob Croft. I'm sitting up again. Going Price, he's on a nine darker. <laughs> Two and a half thousand fans will leap up and hit the ceiling if he takes out 141. His biggest checkout so far has been 136. He will start on the 19s. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maximum respect from Dirk van Dijven Boda. They get a maximum on the 19s. Of course he can. As if this leg needed even more quality. 11 data for Gerwin Price. The best leg of the match so far. Game of who were the are you? No, I, I'd say they'd possibly <laughs> just ignore you, but yeah.
Well, he's going to search for a 20 here to leave himself a 170. Give himself plenty of space. Oh, easy one. Yeah, good dart. One hundred. Victory one hundred and seventy. Similar to this, a couple of legs ago, I think. Yeah, exactly the same. What we didn't see was a big fish. We're not going to see one again. Four hundred and thirty-four. Victory one hundred and sixty-seven. You're getting picky now, Dan. You want one seventies. You want nine darters. Fifty-nine. Victory one thirty-six. Well, for a middle of the road double eighteen. He yeah. makes it six all. Sensibly chooses to start on the 19s. And he's left the finish. Another big fish chance, perhaps. The third big fish chance in four legs. Doesn't have to go for it because with that poor shot there from Gezi. He's gave himself six starts this finish. See what the crowd want. Wow. 130. Wow. Oh, it's all about winning the leg, getting the job done. 59. Good professional set up there from Dirk when diving motor. To break the throw and to go within a leg. Yeah. Dirk van diving motor can smell victory. He hydrates himself. He wants to. Felt like he had to switch because of the lie of those darts. Well, you know what's coming here a 140 to leave 170. Told you. Well, great shout. Well, again, he'll be disappointed after that first dart to not get a little bit more there, but. Is this a shot that Dirk will go for if he has the opportunity? It's right. a brilliant setup. And now Gerwin Price needs snookers. I think he was in two minds there whether to go 54, 54 tops. And he was right in the middle of the 20s and 18s. Dirk van Dijvenbolder with match darts. Double nine. Double eight. Twenty. He's wired it. Going your require 108. Well, he's relying on Kezi Price not taking this out. 17, he should get a dart at tops. Tops then for seven all and the throw. Good. Oh, my word. What a time to hit that. If there's one lesson you should take from this weekend, do not rely on Gessie Price to miss. To we are going all the way, and we have been served up another Euro Tour final belter. Would you have gone for the split, or would you have gone straight at it? I'd have gone straight at it. I'd have gone straight at it then, as we watch Gezi hit his fourth max of this final. But that's why I sit here these days, and that's why Dirk Van Dijven Bode is up on that stage. If not. And he well, might soon be exiting the stage as a runner-up once again. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's brutal from Gerwin Price. Do you know how many times, Dan, have we seen it go to the final leg this weekend or get to a crucial pivotal point of a match and oh, someone I'm leaves a two dart or after just nine 91. darts. How often has it been Gerwin Price doing that? And what's he been distracted by? If you're not comfortable, take a pause. Double ten. It is seventh heaven on the European tour for Gerwin Price. 
and if truth be told, he has deserved that with his performances all weekend. He has been immaculate throughout this tournament. Ein unfassbares Turnier. Wir gratulieren zu 12.000 Pfund Preisgeld dem Titan Dirk van Teubenboda. Und unser Champion, dem wir gratulieren zu 30.000 Pfund Preisgeld, seinem siebten European Tour Titel, unser Interwetten European Darts Open Champion 2023, der Iceman Gerwin Pr